Here's an update on the chicks. They have moved into the big chicken house. And they are staying right there inside that box. And that box over there. And there's some over there too. But anyway, they just spread around. We've got the heat lamp in there coming down these boards. These boards are keeping it nice and warm in here. Even though the temperature has been in the 20s. Yeah, not in the 20s. But the 30s and 40s. See, that's an Osterlop. You see the barred rock. How, they're, how their color starting to come out. Rhode Island Red. This yellow one there is a Buff Orpington. And there he is. See that little one that just jumped down back there? Hey, don't pick my fingernail. That's our rooster. Buff Orpington rooster. Osterlop. We've got six Osterlops, six Barred Rocks, six Buff Orpingtons. <sighs> Had six Rhode Island Reds, but one died. For a total of 23 in here, then we've got the 11 full grown ones that are going to be two years old this year. I keep here the chick starter for them. What? That's one of the barred rocks. See the color coming out on her? And that's the Osterlop. See how she's just kind of pure black. And this one here's got the black and the white. Here. What? What are you waiting for? Alright, I keep the chick starter here for them and the water. Water needs to be cleaned out. There's the laying pellets and the and the hen scratch for the big hens back there. So they have been eating and scratching through the hen scratch and some of the smaller cracked corn and eating some of that along with their chick starter crumbles. They're navigating the ladder pretty good. There's some of them out right there. Those are Osterlops and a Buff Orpington. Osterlops are a good egg laying hen. And the Buff Orpington is a good home style, homesteading farming hen. They make have a nice full breast and a good egg layer. Go broody quite often. And that's a Yopon Holly they're eating the leaves off of. And so they are free to come and go as they wish. See, there's another Osterlop down there. Some of them navigate the, the bigger chicks, navigate the ladder better than some of the smaller ones. There's one of my Buff Orpingtons. Buff. And they are free to come and go as they wish. But on these cold, wet days, they're just staying underneath the heat lamp. So most of them stay underneath the heat lamp doing their thing. You know, dig through here, do the laying pellets, do the cracked corn, eat what they want, or the, the chick starter crumbles. The only time the big hens give them any trouble or pack at them is if the little chicks get in the way of the food. Like if a big hen came up here and went to get the round, get go to the feeder, and the chicks were in the way of the food, they'd peck at them. But besides that, they uh, they roost well with each other. Well, these are in the boxes and underneath the heat lamp. The big hens are up on the roost. So they really, as I haven't noticed any like blood or anything like that. The, the big hens will peck the little ones on top of the head whenever they get in the way. And what I look for is like holes or, or like where blood or something where the big hens may have uh, hurt the little ones. But so far everything's okay. Got one up there in the corner. Like I said, they're free to come and go as they wish. I just hope the dogs don't bother them. 